wow has been out since 2004 and no one's put this together except this guy oh my gosh no oh dude i'm just processing give me a second dude this has to be real there's no way right there's no way there's no way oh my this has to be real dude i kind of want to watch it with a comment like this this is the best wow story video i've ever seen i'm gonna start this off by saying whatever the hell you do do not look in the comment section below though i don't the only reason i'm watching this video is because i saw asmongold's comments from the comment section below usually get many if any comments on my productions the ones that are there will no doubt spoil what is to come so go into full screen mode and let me show you this okay. because i promise you it's gonna blow your mind i believe i've made a wow discovery that literally no one else has ever found no matter how much i try to look it up there's never any results no duck duck searches no youtube videos nothing and that's pretty damn surprising considering this is a game from 2004 that we're talking about here. This is the vanilla WoW world map. As you can see, there's only two continents, Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. Let me ask you a question. Out of all the zones in these two continents, which one is the most forgettable? I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Wait, out of all the, out of all the zones in these two continents, which one is the most forgettable? Uh, well, it's probably the one I can't think about. So all the ones I could think about, I can't think of it. But I would say like Hyjal or something? Give you a few seconds to think about it. All right, time's up. I imagine that the vast majority of people probably answered with Desolus, Silithus, Alterac Mountains, Deadwind Pass. No, Hyjal. You know, I said Hyjal. The usual suspects. I said Hyjal. But there's one zone in Vanilla WoW that literally everyone knows about, but is almost universally forgotten. I said Hyjal. And that zone is Stone Talon Mountains. Okay. Stone Talon Mountains is- This is actually like a really, like I quested here to level up in Classic, like what's wrong with this zone? A contested zone that shares a border with the Barrens and Desolus. The fact that it's a contested zone is quite interesting in of itself, as despite there being many low-level Horde quests available here, for Alliance players, there's almost nothing at all. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that if you're an Alliance main like me, you've probably never even been here before. I've been the there, zone dude. Itself uh, what has is he an talking about? Unusual design, and there really is nothing else like it in the game. It's essentially one giant valley that connects to three different open chasms that are completely different to one another. Due to the zone's odd layout and frustrating quests, even many horde players tend to skip it entirely. I never when skipped leveling. it. I did this multiple but I'm times. I'm not here to talk about the zone or even its quests. Okay. But something much, much weirder. We all know that WoW has a day-night cycle that is in sync with the server's time zone. If it's daytime in real life, then it will be daytime in game too. If it's nighttime in real life, then it will be nighttime in game too. A zone's atmosphere can change significantly. Wait, is that actually true? I, how, I don't think I've ever noticed that. Is that true? I guess that is true now that I think about it. Huh. I've never really thought about that. Oh, they took that out? It's, but it is in classic. It used to be synced with the server time. Oh, that's kind of cool. But it's not cool anymore because I guess they took it out. Sag, okay. Significantly, depending on whether it's day or night. But this is true, especially for Stone Talon Mountains. During the day, Stone Talon Mountains just looks and feels like a pretty typical looking place. Dude, is it just me or is this guy thinking about Stone Talon Mountains way too much? Like this guy is like taking a shower thinking about Stone Talon like, wait a minute, it's too sunny. And, and then, I, and, you know, he's about to go to bed and he's thinking about like, wait a minute, Stone Talon is too dark at night. Like, dude, what is this? What the hell is going on? A bit of trees here, a bit of grass there. But at night, this zone and the way it feels to be in it almost completely changes. From the hours of midnight to 5 a.m., music no longer plays in the zone. Instead, all you can hear is this strange wind ambience that sounds really freaky okay i mean all right sure what's weirder is that at night the entire zone has this creepy red tint to it for seemingly no reason and there's a ton of fog that okay. limits how far you can see yeah, it doesn't not sure seem if that you weird. can really notice it here 
but the difference when it's daytime is really, well, night and day. Dude, now, obviously, dude, when I first discovered this, dude. I was confused just as much as you probably are. Why is it like this? No other zone has a fan. I'm not that confused. He's like, I'll, I'll be as confused as you are. I'm not that confused. It's a video game. At night, there's ambient sounds. There's, there's some fog that rolls in. I don't see the big problem here. Acts like these at night. It just seems weird. And again, no matter how much I looked into it, no one had an answer. We looked into well, what? that's not even why I'm making this. Because, yeah, it's weird. But it could just be some sort of attempt at atmospheric immersion. Yeah. No, I'm making this because of a strange phenomenon that kept happening to my character here. If you know me, then you'll know that I'm pretty much nocturnal. As in, seriously nocturnal. I'm okay. always up at night and in the early hours of the morning because that's just how I like it. As a result, whenever I play WoW, it's always in the dark. Okay. That's how I noticed how weird Stone Talon Mountains was in the first place. Dude, this guy has got to be thinking about everything way too hard. What is happening? Well, oh, this tree is a little crooked, though. Hmm. In Classic WoW, okay. I had an orc warrior called Warzerk that I would occasionally level up to see what the Horde side of the game was like. Just a way to relax and see what I would have otherwise missed out on on my alliance main. Stone Talon Mountains was one of the zones I ended up leveling in. Yeah. I remember being exactly. taken aback at what a weird, almost psychedelic dreamscape the zone felt like. It reminded me of somewhere where a nightmare would take place, but again, I didn't think anything of it until this happened. This is a screenshot I took at 2.14am on the 20th of October 2020. I'm in the windshield crank part of the zone and as you can see, my character is dead. Yeah, you, you You're died. You're probably thinking that a mob must have got me or something, but no. The reason I took this screenshot is because my character just died instantly for no reason whatsoever. Dude. I was just running around <laughs> doing some quest when he just dropped dead. <laughs> At first I thought that maybe a high level rogue had got me, then vanished or something, but I didn't see any. And according to my combat log, nothing happened. He just died. I kept this screenshot because I thought I would put it in a future production of mine, as at the time there was a lot of uproar about how badly Blizzard maintained Classic WoW, with there being a ton of bots and gold sellers flying around. Is this guy playing Classic WoW or Retail WoW in, in Stone Talon? This is Classic, I'm assuming, right? Is it everything? Okay, yeah, it's classic, right? I figured it wouldn't be okay. out of the ordinary for there to be bugs like this too, as, after all, this is Blizzard we're talking about here. Either way, I rezzed up and carried on with my questing before heading off for the night. 24 hours later, and I am, once again, questing in the Windshear Crag. Everything was going smoothly, until once again, BAM. It happened again. Instant death, no combat log, just dead. Same I, wait, is it the same exact time every day it just kills everyone in the zone? I I mean that's a little that's a little creepy. I I mean if it just kills everyone in the zone instantly once a day at 214, I mean that's actually kind of cool. I wonder if it was like that in real classic or if that's just classic wow or if it's just classic SOM or if it's all of them or if it's on retail. Anyway, I've never experienced anything quite like this. I mean, yeah. WoW could be buggy, but it's never been this bad. I looked back at the screenshot I took the night before and noticed something really unusual. Same time. The time of death yeah. on both shots same was time. exactly the same. Yeah. 2.14 2 14 a.m. That was just way too much of a coincidence to ignore. I tried to make a post on r slash classic WoW to ask if anyone knew what kept happening to my character, but it got removed and then I was banned for no reason. What? Oh, get so, wrecked. Yeah, pretty standard. I decided that this was <laughs> way Reddit, too dude. much of a coincidence yep. to ignore. Yep. So, we'll I conjured a plan. The next night, at 2.14am, I would have my recorder on, just in case my character died again, so that I would have proof of this weird bug in action. Yeah, let's see the it. The following is what I captured. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Nothing. 
Oh yeah. I'm waiting. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Yeah. So nothing happens when you have the camera on. So Blizzard must have known you were recording and 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 then you yeah, it, Blizzard decided not to kill you cuz you obviously they know you're recording, so you can never record it. No one can ever prove it, but it does happen if you're not recording and no one's looking. Obviously. Okay. It ran yeah. for a few minutes longer, but it just wasn't happening. I figured that it really must have been just a weird coincidence. Feeling disappointed, I turned off my recorder and carried on questing. And then it happened, but right? But then, boom. It <laughs> happened. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. And then it happened as soon as you turned it off. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, dude. Dude, dude, dude. This guy's trolling. This time oh my. at 2.47 a.m. Three deaths in a row on three different days. But why was this one at a different time than the others? The only difference I noticed between the last shot and the first two is that on the last one, I was at the charred veil part of the zone, whereas with the first two, I was in the Windshear Crag. So, I had another idea. What this guy is just a noob. He keeps dying. He probably died to a spider or something to even realize. I don't know. All right. If I went to the Windshear Crag at 2.14 a.m. and had my recorder on then instead, maybe there it would happen again. So, once again, I set my character there and waited. Why did he take his clothes off? Was he ERPing before this video or something? What's going on? Oh, let me guess. He's not going to die. Yeah. Oh, he did die. Holy shit. I now had video evidence of this so-called bug in action. But honestly, at this point, oh. I was starting to think there has to be something more to this. Oh my gosh. Out of curiosity, I wondered that if I went to the charred veil- So each zone might have a different time in which it one-shots you each night? What? Oh. Yeah, at 2.47 again, if it would happen there too. Huh. Sure enough, it did. Oh my gosh. So each zone has a different time in which it one-shots you. <laughs> Whoa. 2.14 a.m. in the Windshear Crag and 2.47 a.m. in the Charred Vale. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. No, dude, no one else has ever cared enough to like be in the Stone Tower Mountains long enough in the middle of the night to ever discover this bug since Classic WoW, except this guy. This guy's the only one that's ever noticed, ever. <laughs> dude, can you imagine? That's insane. That's incredible. I mean, I, I don't... But for some reason, <laughs> at those times, my character would always just drop dead. Hmm. It was as if there was an invisible GM playing some sort of practical joke or something like that. But we're not done yet. At the very top of the zone lies the third chasm, the Stone Talon Peak. A oh. very leafy and soothing place compared to the yeah, other Yeah, I've been here. I've quested here. I wondered here. if the weird deaths occurred there too. Sure enough, they did. 2.28 a.m. I tested this again the next day, and it happened yet again. Oh my 2 14 gosh. 2.14 a.m. in the Windshear Crag. 2.47 a.m. in the Charred Vale. 2.28 in the Stone Talon Peak. What does this mean? Every night, what does at this those mean? times, my character would die without failure or explanation. It would never happen in the valley part Illuminati of the zone, confirm, boys. only in the chasms at those exact times. This wasn't a coincidence at this point. Hmm. I tried to see if anyone else was in the zone at the same time as me. But literally no one ever yeah, was. No, no one, yeah. Not too surprising, <laughs> as this character is on Dragonfang, which is, yeah, a very dead server to say the least. None Damn. of my friends still played, so I couldn't exactly ask them to get a subscription just to test this. All right, that's just kind of funny in itself. None of my friends still play. <laughs> the The whole town is empty. I was the only one online, so I couldn't prove anything. <laughs> Dude, okay. And whenever I would ask other people to come to Stone Talon Mountain so that I could watch them drop dead, they were surprisingly uncooperative. I decided to do some <laughs> hardcore off. research to see if anyone else had noticed this, scrubbing almost the entire internet for even a nugget of information. But alas, Nothing. No one was in this well, zone that long, dude. Nothing. Except that two years ago, back when Classic WoW launched, an old Blizzard developer who had long since left the company, Mike Crond, did a Q&A on the r slash WoW subreddit. 
whereby he answered people's questions about what it was like developing the vanilla game. I think I remember In that, In his yeah. opening remarks, he mentioned that he was behind zones such as Desolus, Feralas, Ashenvale, and Stone Talon Mountains. I like how he Despite blurs the Q &A it out. Being two <laughs> years ago now, I noticed that Mike was very active on Reddit, mm. albeit almost always posting about non-WoW related stuff. Now, I'm not usually mm. one to pry, but man, if anyone knew what was going on here, it would be this guy. And I'm in way too deep to quit now. I just had to ask. So this guy coded Stone Talon back in 2004. And he put in an Easter egg to... What does it mean? I, I haven't seen this video. I almost want to try to guess. I don't know, though. I don't so know. I what does it mean? What no, does it I'm going to be what honest. Does it mean? I have no idea how to open a conversation with a guy who I don't know and who doesn't know me. I'm not a journalist. I'm a WoW player. By nature, I'm very antisocial mm. and tend not to talk to people unless they talk to mm. me. What is it, Chad? But this guy wasn't just going to talk to me by himself. So I decided to try to play it cool. Didn't want to come off as too pushy or anything like that. Nice play, so good I play. Said, hey there, is it true you worked on Vanilla WoW back in the day? Honestly, nice I didn't expect statement. to get an answer. But shockingly enough, he responded almost instantly. Yup. Well, Hog? it's better than nothing, I guess. The ice was broken. 6.30 a.m. They've both been up all night playing WoW. Hell yeah. I just had a question about one of the zones. Nothing serious, just some trivia that I wondered if you could answer. Two minutes later, shoot. Poggers, we can get the answer. Talkative guy. I've been on Classic WoW recently and leveling up in Stone Talon Mountains. I've noticed that for some reason, my character dies at set times in the early hours of the morning for seemingly no reason. I know it sounds bonkers, but do you have any idea why that is? It's been driving me crazy for days now. Mm. After I asked this, the guy just went completely silent. Oh I'll my be honest, gosh, I was pretty dude. pissed off. If anyone would know why, it would be this guy. And he just bailed on me for no reason. Ooh. I figured that all hope was lost Ghosted. and that I'd never know what was behind this. Ghosted. And with my limited audience, there was no way I could make a big enough deal out of it to try to get people to figure it out. So, case closed, I guess. No, 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 we need to know. We need to or know. Also, I thought. I am not joking with you. Ten months later, I get another message from Mike. What? He's been making this YouTube video for ten months? He got ghosted for ten months and he just replies? The message literally just said, The SoCal Lady Killer. I'm like, what? No nope. response. Guy just goes completely quiet again. Ten the months? The SoCal Lady Killer? What the heck was that? Oh, Southern California. Oh, it's probably like a murder. She murdered people at those times or something, IRL? Was this like in the news or something? I thought that perhaps he had meant to message someone else and this was sent to me by accident. Decided to look into it and this- Wait, 6.39 AM again? Wait, was it actually? 6.39 AM. When was the first messages? Hold on, we have to go back. 629. So it was probably sent that same day. Just a few minutes later, but he maybe read it. Because it was at 637 he asked the question. And then at 639 it was the reply. So it probably just got... It probably never like went through on the Reddit servers or something, right? Because this was literally two minutes later, it seems like. Perhaps he had meant to message someone else, and this was sent to me by accident. Decided to look into it, and this is what came up. The SoCal Lady Killer is the nickname given to an unidentified serial killer who is believed to be behind right, the murder okay. of three women in Southern California throughout the years of 1995 and 1996. Okay, yeah, SoCal. Yeah, that's what you're thinking. So it's like a, a real-life serial killer, and she probably killed people at those times or something? And it's coded into Stone Talon Mountains? Though there is no direct evidence that links the three murders together, the modus operandi of the killer was seemingly identical in all of the cases, with the victims' bodies being mutilated in an almost identical fashion each time. The three women, all of which were prostitutes, were believed to be lured to a secluded area by the killer, whereby they were then murdered. 
again. Jeez. I had no idea what this had to do with what I asked, until I read this part. The first victim was 28-year-old Whitney Fangson. On the 2nd of August 1995, her body was found on the outskirts of the wind shear lumber mill. What? Oh my gosh, wow. Dude, this guy's a detective. No one has ever thought about this before. Wow, it's been out since 2004 and no one's put this together except this guy? Okay, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed, dude. No shot. Police reports state that she was officially declared dead at 2.14 no! a.m. Oh my gosh! Four months later, on the 5th of December 1995, 25-year-old no Sophie Riven was found in an almost identical state at a hotel room in the nearby village of Los Chared. Oh my gosh, dude! Police reports state that she was declared dead at 2.47 2.47, dude. The third and final victim was 32-year-old Amy Rassan. Oh who two my months later, gosh. on the 17th of February 1996, was found dead by climbers at the base of Sockle Peak. Oh my gosh. Police reports state that she was declared dead at 2.28 a.m. No. Wind shear lumber mill was the basis for wind shear crag. Lost charred was the basis for the charred veil. No Sockle way! Sockle Peak was the basis for Stone Talon Peak. When, dude, when the original WoW, classic WoW devs were creating this back in 2004 and they put this in, I wonder how so, long they they were, were thinking like how long this would take for someone to figure out. Would it take a month? Would it take a year? Would it take 10 years? 20 years later almost, 18, 18 years later, Oh, you guys are getting ads, we're sad. Maybe we wait a sec. 18 years later, someone figured it out? Or do you guys think this is all fake? All right, we're waiting for the ads. We're waiting for the ads, sorry guys. We'll wait for the ads, it's fine. Yo, you're a Sam. Thanks for the 11 month sub, I appreciate it. Diabetic Snorlax, thanks for the prime. Angel Bro, five gifted subs. Everybody welcome to um, ad free viewing, poggers. We'll wait for the ads though, sorry guys. That Twitch ads are annoying, dude. We know. We, I'm sorry. The, the video, guys, is called question mark. That that's 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 it. That's the video. I'm gonna test it tonight. Do it, man. Wait, I wonder if it works on retail. Can someone test it on retail tonight? That wiki page doesn't exist. Dana Sue Gray. Murder victims. Finish video. Okay, okay, okay. We'll finish video. Maybe he maybe he um mentions like that they removed it or something in the video. One sec. Ads are over. Are ads over, guys? Type one in the chat if we continue. We're good? Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's go. In addition, the timing of the victim's deaths correlates exactly with the timing of my characters. The mystery had been solved. Wow. The seemingly random deaths are an Easter egg referencing the SoCal Lady Killer. Wow. But that's a pretty weird Easter egg. Don't you think? That, that is a little weird. But I went yeah. to ask Mike what on earth made him want to add that in the game. But again, <laughs> I've got to say it's a weird choice. That's a little offensive. You're weird, Mike. I got no response. But this time, it was different. You see, in the past when I was blanked, Mike was still actively using Reddit obsessively on a daily basis. But ever since that last message, he had stopped completely. Not many people know this, but the state of California actually has an online public database of all its residents that states basic information about them, such as their criminal record, driving viability, and yes, whether they are dead or alive. Well, you're never gonna believe what I found. 
Michael John Crond, 54, death by suicide. On the 13th of August, what? 2021, the exact same day that he last messaged me. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Crond, World of Warcraft developer from 2004 to no way wait is it is this real or is, are we no way what the 2006 was the soul cal lady killer stone what? Time. wait 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 hold on he what wait hold on what did i hear that right 2006 was the soul cal lady killer Stone Talon Mountains, a zone which he designed, is nothing more than a direct reference to the crimes he committed 10 years prior to joining Blizzard. What? No! It is an open mockery of his victims, hiding the truth in plain sight while taking great pleasure in how no one else can see it. Typical serial killer behavior. But if you aren't convinced yet, then let me show you this. Every single chasm has a rare mob that is a direct reference to one of the victims. Whitney Fangson died outside of the Windshear lumber mill. Meanwhile, in the Windshear crag, there's an NPC called Taskmaster Whip Fang. Sophie Riven died in Lost Chared. Meanwhile, in the Charred Vale, there's an NPC called Sister Riven. Amy Rassan died on the base of Sockle Peak. Meanwhile, in the Stone Talon Peak, there's an NPC called Sentinel Amma Rassan. The cherry on top. In the only safe place in the entire zone, the Sunrock Retreat, is an NPC called Krond. Krond, the Butcher. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, dude, I'm just processing. Give me a second. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Dude, this has to be real. There's no way, right? There's no way. There's no way. Oh my. This has to be real, dude. So the question you're probably asking yourself is, why? Why would he commit suicide? Well... The answer becomes crystal clear if we go back to the SoCal Lady Killer's wiki page. It reads, After being a cold case for over 25 years, on the 2nd of August 2021, LAPD Police Chief Ed Jens announced that the SoCal Lady Killer case had been reopened due to advances in forensic technology that may help finally bring the victims some justice. Mike Crond knew that he was about to be found out. Thus, he ended his own life as to escape justice. But folks, do you want to know the worst part about all of this? The worst part is... I just made all that up. That's right. Right, Mike Crond is not a serial killer. In fact, Mike Crond isn't even real. Hell, his picture isn't even real. It was generated by an AI. There's no such thing as the SoCal Lady Killer, and my character didn't even die randomly in the Stone Talon Mountains. I just got a friend of mine to use the neutral auction house to trade me a dark rune. Hell, even the character isn't even the same. So... The question you must be asking is, why? Why did I make up this entire story? Well, you see, it's simple. If I can come up with an interesting and somewhat believable story that grips people enough to keep them listening for 20 minutes about the pissing stone talon mountains, no less, then Blizzard has no excuse to not write a good story of their own, <laughs> especially with their ridiculously overpaid writing team at their disposal. Dear WoW Law Team, get it together, you absolute amateurs. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Okay. I must admit, I fell for it. I was I, okay. I was to be fair. I was trying to confirm, and you guys told me to keep watching. I I was trying to confirm, but you guys had me keep watching because that was really believable. But I I wanted to I wanted to like. <sighs> Man, that would that would have been way too cool. Well, not cool, but like crazy. You know, that would have been crazy. Someone told you the wiki didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. We, we have, you have to fact check it, but but you guys were telling me like on the fact check that we couldn't fact check because we need to finish the video. Wow, dude, that has to be one of the most captivating wow videos we've ever watched. Like, wow, that's that's an incredible video. So the video, guys, is called question mark. Here's the video. I'll link it. I'll link it in the chat. That's the video. Oh man. Oh my gosh. 10 for 10 for the people that didn't spoil that. Yeah, thanks for not spoiling. Oh my gosh. Every second I wanted and needed to know more. Holy shit. Well, you got me. Damn.